what's going on YouTube? Okay. You know, today I kind of wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about obesity. It's a genetic. So I was watching, I had seen this video on TikTok, but then the Hodge twins made a video on it. And they said something that I, well, we're just going to watch. Um, hold on, let me get this pulled up. Y'all let me know what y'all think. <laughs> Actually, they already they pulled down the video. <laughs> so what I'll pretty much say then. Yeah, look like the highest twins. Yeah. Oh, here it is. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find it. Had a damn good show. We live in a strange era right now. What a strange era. No. No. Like all being inclusive, Keith. Not being a bigot. Once all right, let's get to the video. Encouraging fat people to do this, which is a damn shame. You should encourage more salads. Yeah, watch this. And more water. You got razor bumps? No, I don't. Yeah, what I eat today. Okay, that ain't bad. Some buttered. What's that? I mean, you need to throw that, that away. No, all that food's good, man. I eat all that. What is that? See, that's a good, that's not bad. Well, that she, right there? she bought 300 calories. That's about another 300 calories. That's 600. Yeah. Yeah, but she ain't showing you everything she eating. Yeah, she, uh, okay, some sweet potato fries is good. What's that? That's day. like, that's like four meals already. Man, all this See, that's, that's 2,000 calories right there. You know that, right? That's probably about 1,500. Yep. See, that's healthy. No, that's healthy. That look good too. But she's not working out. That's a lot of that's a lot of food for somebody who's not oh, moving. Baby. <laughs> there you there go. You get some of them greens up in you. Now yeah, what you got? What's this? Sandwich. You get about forty chicken nuggets on that sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's what she showed earlier that look healthy. But see, that's the thing. She really didn't eat that much. What? I want to hear that part again. Earlier that look healthy. But see, that's the thing. She really didn't eat that much. See, this is a misconception. Some, the Hodge twins normally tend to get this. But let's go back. Let's start with the meals. Let's go number one. We should encourage more salads. Let's more start the video. Water. You got razor bumps? No, I don't, I don't know what that first part was about. <clears throat> so here's the first one. Honey, this looks like butter honey biscuits. That's one meal. Okay. Yeah, what I First meal of the day. Okay, that ain't bad. Some butter. What's that? Now she's showing one chocolate cookie. She's showing a part of a meal. This is two meals now. She's eating a Oreo chocolate thing, and I'm sure she ate probably ate at least eight of those. I mean, you need to throw that away. No, all that food's good, man. I eat all. I don't know what that is either. It looks like a drink, a Hispanic drink. Um, but here we go again. She's drinking whatever this is. That's what more is calories. That? All right, we're on meal number four. So she's had biscuit, cookies, this calorie drink, and now we're on a sandwich and chips so that's a good, with that's ham, cheese, mayonnaise, that's and lettuce. 300 calories. That's about another 300 calories. That's 600. That is not yeah. 300 calories. Uh, a, a sandwich with that bag of chips, I bet you, is 300 calories. Okay, a little bag of chips, and I know this because every now and then I buy a little those little 50 cent uh, bag of chips. Those things are like 260, 300 calories. Just the chips. But she ain't showing you everything she eating. Yeah, she, uh, There's another meal. That's four meals. Okay? We had honey biscuits. We had the cookies. We had the drink. We had the sandwich and chips. And now we're eating again. And this looks like... Okay, some sweet potato fries. That looks like a yeah, cheese yeah. stuffed bread. Cheesy stuffed bread. Man, five. Food, we're at five meals now. She just had the cheesy stuffed bread. Uh, potatoes. Sweet potato fries is good. What What's I that? Eat the, sweet potato fries. Uh, cheese filled bread. And a Coke. Okay. Um, okay, some sweet potato fries is good. What I eat in a day. Man, all An ice cream. Yeah, and they're right. This is probably a thousand, thousand calories. As much ice cream as that is with the whipped cream and all that, it's probably a thousand, fifteen hundred calories. Yeah, that's two thousand calories right there. You know that, right? That's probably about fifteen hundred. Yep. And then we're doing another meal. This is six meals now. So we had honey biscuits. Okay, honey butter biscuits. We had 
uh, what did she have? The Oreo cookies. We had the drink. Uh, we had the sandwich and chips. We had the cheese stuffed bread with the sweet potato fries. And now we're having another meal of that looks like fried chicken or yeah, that on that sandwich, this is the fried chicken, peas, broccoli, and potatoes. So that's six meals. And this girl does not work out. Okay. We clearly see, or she would have put that in the video. We're assuming she doesn't work out. Only people who can eat six meals a day like that are people who are athletes. Okay. Us average people like me, I work out, but I cannot eat six meals a day. I, I got fat doing that kind of stuff. And obviously I didn't eat this kind of food. And I know she doesn't eat this kind of food. She's eating six meals. Of course she can finish the day off with that. But y'all look at that and think it's healthy. But we just saw her eat six different meals right now. That's healthy. Oh, that's healthy. And so that's listen to what uh, Keith says. Hot on, baby. She got this. <laughs> yeah, she's got a gland problem. Some people don't realize you think somebody like this is at home. She really didn't eat that much. Yeah. She really didn't eat that much. See, and see the Hodge twins, they can be cool, but they also miss the point when it comes to this obesity thing. And this is coming from an obese man. I'm not stupid. All me and my obese friends, I guarantee you, we ate more than most people who were not obese. Don't She's let this. Got a gland problem. Some people don't. They really think it's a gland problem. She just ate six meals, including a big pint of ice cream and whipped cream. She ate a full bowl. She ate a full bowl of cheesy bread, which is this right here. She ate this, this whole bowl. What is that? Six, seven, eight, eight things of cheesy bread. And I know it's cheesy bread because you saw her eat it. You saw her eat it and the cheese came out of it. Cheese. That's cheese dripping off. Y'all call that a normal meal for most people? Yeah, that's healthy. Oh, that's healthy. All right, on, baby. All right, so they say something yeah, else, else really interesting. That much. Yeah, she's got a gland problem. Some people don't realize you think somebody like this is at home just shoveling uh, uh, pints of ice cream down their throat, <laughs> <laughs> ordering five large pepperoni pizza, and sh uh, just shoveling it. Just no, only idiots think that. But uh, people who understand how food goes, okay? I shouldn't say idiots. Let me say ignorant people. People who lack the knowledge only think that way. Because what the truth is is when you got this kind, when you're putting on this kind of weight, I want you, I want y'all to see something else they said. But when you're eating and you're putting on this kind of weight, guys, it is because it's not because of how much you ate in one day. It's not about eating pints of ice cream and pizza in one day. It's not about that. It's not about eating that in one week. It's consistency. Consistency is what makes a person obese. They're going to say something very interesting. I want to hear y'all's thoughts on it. But somebody who's getting bigger and getting more obese, I can tell you guys, I didn't get to, I was almost 400 pounds at one point. I didn't get there because I, I would eat pizza and ice cream all day. No, I got there because I consistently ate bad. I may, maybe one day I'd eat a salad. Maybe one day, whatever. Maybe one day I'd eat nice and healthy. Maybe a couple days, maybe a week. But the vast majority of the time I was eating Fast food, I was going out to eat, I was eating cookies, I was eating a lot of pizza, I was eating a lot of uh, cheese, I was eating a lot of different stuff. And and I'm a person of habit, so the majority of the time when I ate, consistently I just ate the same thing. So it'd be something like this. Every night I got off work, I would go hit Arby's on the way home. Not even joking. Every night I went home and ate Arby's on the way home. I would get um, sliders, uh, mozzarella sticks every now and then and mac and cheese and I would eat that almost every night five days out of the week I ate that going home right and I thought whoa it's not that bad but I ate that consistently right and then but see I never deluded myself I knew the reason I was obese is because of how I ate it took a picture that my wife took for me to see how obese I had gotten but I was not foolish of why I was fat and see, you get people like the Hodge twins who let people off the hook and say, well, it's because they have a gland problem. You don't get that obese because of whatever. Hold on, let's, let's see what they uh, have to say about the fly part. <laughs> drinking, a, drinking a six pack of Coke. No, it's choking it down with a two damn liter of Coke. Or oh, a large pepperoni just eating the whole thing. Yeah, it's, she probably is. She ain't showing it. Kevin. I've seen people that don't eat much at yeah, all. Yeah, they in only their show what they want you to see. I have never met anybody in my life that has, and y'all, uh, this is a, this is what I was talking about when people say that that they get y'all to believe y'all get y'all to believe the most smallest of lies. 
I have never met anybody who doesn't eat much who's that big. I can understand somebody being a little chunky, maybe. And you, maybe you could blame it on metabolism, but she is clearly obese. And y'all are going to say that she's not eating that much. She just ate six meals in one day, and that was the stuff that she recorded. Are you trying to? Okay, let's just break it down. 2,000 calories. Let's just break this down right quick. 2,000 calories between six meals. So we would have to assume every meal that she ate equals that many calories. So 2,000 divided by six meals. So you're trying to tell me every meal she ate in that video was only 300 calories? Those sweet potatoes and cheese breads, you think that was only 300 calories? That ice cream, did you think that was only 300 calories? Okay. That sandwich and chips, do you think that was only 300 calories? Do you think that drink that she had, was that only 300 calories? Were those, maybe the only thing that was probably 300 calories is that biscuit she ate in the morning. But none of those other meals, there's no way each one of those meals was only 300 calories. Come on, guys. Kevin. You don't think she's being disingenuous? Kevin, could you get that big if you wanted to? If I really wanted to, if I put my heart to it? Yep. <laughs> she just said, could you get that big if you wanted to? Listen, this is what these people have um, a misconception against. See, the Harsh Twins have never been that obese, so they'll never understand. But I can tell you from a man who is about 400 pounds, it doesn't take that much to get that obese. All you have to do is consistently eat bad. Just eat bad. I guarantee you, if you eat Little Caesars... If you eat pizza, cheese, if you're eating queso dip, if you're eating burgers every single day, give it five years. I guarantee you, you'll be 300 pounds. You know how we know this? Go back to The Biggest Loser when that was still a TV show. The Biggest Loser, those people would lose upwards to 200 pounds. There was a guy who lost so much weight on The Biggest Loser. I think he lost uh, 200 and something pounds. You know how much he gained back? 250 pounds he gained more weight he weighed more than before he ever went on the show that's the point y'all think it's so easy to put on 200 pounds it's not it is not hard that's why when you get people who are part of the fat acceptance and it's uh um, fat acceptance and this body positivity talking like being fat is hard it is not it's hard on your body but to get fat it doesn't take much it, the, we live in a society that is very privileged we have a bunch of processed food you can go anywhere and go eat even if you're poor, because if y'all don't know this, the vast majority of people who are fat, pop, I mean, no, sorry, the people who are poverty in poverty, a lot of the people who live in poverty are overweight. So it's not a money thing. You can get very fat on very little money. Let's finish this out. You could. I can accomplish anything I want to. <laughs> you cannot go at yourself like that every day with all them calories and get looking like that. Okay. Yes, you can. You train yourself to be fat. No, Look at them sumo wrestling. Sumo, dude, do it. But that, if that was true, you're trying to tell me every American who's overweight, in fact, let's just go with obese. Every American that's obese, you think that they just got there because of the gland problem? That girl clearly eats too much. She ate six meals in one day. Guys, I eat two meals a day. Sometimes I only eat once a day. I can still put on weight easily. 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 I, I don't even eat close to six meals a day. I wake up, go to the gym, eat. And then sometimes, most of the time I'm here live streaming. If I'm not live streaming, or if I, I might go take a, a quick lunch break sometime on my live streams, I might go eat something right then. And that's it. I won't eat again for the rest of the day. And look how big I am. I haven't lost 100, 100. I've lost 100 pounds, but I haven't lost 300 pounds doing that because it's easy. I can still overeat if I feel like it. It's not hard. It's really not hard. But they're making it seem like it's almost impossible to become her weight. Uh, give it 10 more years. We'll see how many people are her weight. In fact, a lot of people are climbing. There are kids that are obese. Kids. Kids are starting to deal with obesity problems. Don't tell me it's hard to get that fat. That's all it is. It's a skill. Like that girl, that's a skill. How much food she eats. But you got to admit, some people have horrible metabolism. Yeah, some people got horrible genetics. Some. I mean, rare. Is not that big. Your metabolism will not cause you to get that big. That's somebody who's sedentary who eats all day. A neck and a, the bottom of her jaw. How do you put weight right there? That's like a whole well. It starts right here, then it spreads through the extremities. Yeah. And when it hits the neck, that's like stage four. <laughs> Stop. 
Yeah, stage four is when it hit stage the neck. Stage four is when it hit the neck. <laughs> and then them and your head this small. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the size of stage four, yeah. your neck swollen up. <laughs> and your fingers about to burst. <laughs> <laughs> like some damn pranks. <laughs> there you go. I want to go to her uh, TikTok. I'm going to watch more videos on this girl. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think that that girl got that big just eating <laughs> like the average person? Or do you think she overeats? Y'all saw how many? She had six meals. Who's the only people you've ever heard eat six meals and look good? Bodybuilders. And those guys work out like crazy. You think she's working out like crazy? Does it look like she works out all day, every day? No. You can't eat six meals a day in each meal being dang near she probably ate four thousand calories in this video and that's a good day it looked like she had <laughs> imagine it being a bad day now let me know what y'all think in the comments peace